In the rapidly evolving world of personal aerial vehicles, two standout contenders are making headlines. The newly unveiled Volanort Airbike and the established Hoversurf Hoverbike S3. Both promise the thrill of solo flying, but they differ significantly in design philosophy, performance capabilities, and user experience. As the dream of flying motorcycles inches closer to reality, these two machines offer a glimpse into very different visions of what that future might look like. The Volanort Airbike, unveiled on May 1, 2025, is the brainchild of Thomas Patton, who also developed the Jetson 1. Unlike traditional designs, the airbike features a radically lightweight frame, seven times lighter than a conventional superbike, thanks to advanced carbon fiber materials and extensive use of 3D printing. Its open-air design offers no protective frame around the pilot, making it feel like a true flying motorcycle rather than a drone-based vehicle. On the other hand, the Hoverbike S3 is made by a company from Russia, but its headquarters is in California, United States. The Hoverbike S3 first delivered to Dubai Police in 2017, takes a more structured and cautious approach. It features a carbon monocoque frame with four exposed propellers mounted on beams, delivering a total thrust of 364 kilograms. Unlike the Volanort's clean aesthetic, the Hoverbike S3 closely resembles a drone with a saddle, including an adjustable seat, joystick controls, and an onboard dashboard. In terms of performance, the Volanort Airbike edges ahead with a top speed of 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour, and a jet propulsion system that enables smooth, high-altitude gliding. Its proprietary stabilization system, enhanced by a flight computer, allows for automatic hovering and 360-degree visibility without obstruction. In contrast, the Hoverbike S3 reaches a maximum speed of only 96 km per hour, 60 miles per hour, and has a flight time limited to 10 to 25 minutes with a human pilot, depending on weight and weather conditions. Safety also sets the two apart. The Hoverbike S3 comes equipped with a multi-layered safety system, including electronic emergency landing functions, a kill switch, and passive crash protection features like deformation zones. Meanwhile, details about the airbike's safety mechanisms remain limited, though its simple and lightweight design likely prioritizes agility and ease of use over heavy safety infrastructure. Cost and accessibility mark another major difference. The Hoverbike S3 is priced at a steep $150,000 with an optional $10,000 training program, including travel and accommodation. Civilian use requires extensive training and is still bound by ambiguous flight regulations. The Volanort Airbike, however, has yet to be priced or confirmed for public sale, with Patton stating it remains a personal project for now, though its design hints at a more minimalist and potentially more accessible future. Ultimately, the Volanort Airbike and Hoversurf Hoverbike S3 offer two diverging paths toward personal aviation. The Airbike presents a daring, stripped-down ride for the thrill-seeker, while the Hoverbike S3 leans into structure and regulation. Both machines highlight how far we've come in personal flight, and how much further we still have to go.